that's a cold one today welcome back everybody to the channel thank you so much for clicking on today's adventure we are fishing a very well-known area and it's been a minute since i've been able to get out here like a week i want to say the weather has just not been cooperating but we're able to make it happen today zero winds right now and hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of some speckled trout and if i get lucky because it has been a minute since i've been able to catch a redfish i'm gonna keep the fingers crossed let's see what happens all right y'all we uh i just took a look at the conditions and the tidal movement it does not look good right now it's gonna be a puzzling day for sure there's gonna be little to no water movement i mean we do have the current like pushing us out right now i'm gonna hope for the best let's start things out with a trout thumper but before we actually start casting with this guy let's uh let's clip off this weed guard i'm not going to be anywhere in the marsh at all so i don't really need it all right now we can get started here we go get the first cast jitters out the way i tell y'all what it really stinks not having eyes in the water i want to find the drop in the bayou i would go over to the flat right now but because it's super cold that's very shallow probably about a foot if i if i had to guess uh maybe a foot and a half deep and that stuff is going to be cold um, i don't see anything happening out there versus the bayou which is where they would take shelter overnight that at least that's my frame of thought that's kind of what i've learned it's to find the drop but it looks like right there is the drop where the water kind of goes from being nice and smooth to choppy yeah and the temperature says cover up <laughs> it's cold, man. yeah you got the birds working over there right up ahead it's probably going to take me about five minutes or so to get to these birds that are they're hovering so there is a big difference between the birds working and then seeing some turns that are just diving down on bubbles or lord knows what those turns dive down on but these guys right here are definitely working because they're staying in place which means there's a school pushing some type of bait up my guess is going to be some type of fry for the minnows because i haven't seen any shrimp out here at all but uh, we got a good little school right there more than likely uh let's try to hurry up and get over there before they push off false alarm everyone uh, got a little bit closer and just realized that these guys are turns and those are the guys that i was talking bad about but that's the reason why because you see them hovering from so far away and it's what i thought was going to be seagulls but yeah no go that is a no-go. Goodness gracious, I mean with all this moving water, this is seriously where I thought we would be able to get a few trout because they absolutely love this moving stuff and I've been casting for a minute. No bites. We switched up lures and everything. I've given them every look that I pretty much do really well with, like a paddle tail, a bugs, uh, Plastics and rabbit fur. <laughs> they didn't want it. And I mean, if they were here, they didn't want it. Let, let's just say that they're not here because it makes me feel good about myself. I'm gonna keep moving on, go back towards the deeper water. There we are. Oh my gosh, look what we got, everyone. Ooh, the stupid oyster fish. I, I got so excited. Oh, okay. You catch anything? Oh, good job. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Okay. All right, so 
that's really good news. Bethel just said that Oscar got two keeper trout right over here. And I was already on my way out here, so hopefully we're gonna get something aside of the oyster fish. Got him. It's a nice little fat one right here. We're gonna hit spot lock before we continue on. This guy's probably 13, 14 inches, somewhere around there. That's, that's gonna be my guess. We're gonna check it just to make sure the eye is still calibrated. There we go. Little paddle tail action right there. 13, going on 14, something like that, if I'm lucky. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Settle down, little buddy. Settle down, put that tail down. 14 and a quarter, not bad. So we'll just take a photo. We haven't posted on Instagram in a while. There we are. A little bit bigger, buddy. Just a little bit bigger. Got him. Right over there in the oil slick. This cookie cutter. Ah, this one's a little bit smaller right here. I need you to just chill out really fast. We'll get you right back inside there. Got him. That was a good bite too. Just picked it right up. This is probably going to be our first keeper, I'm hoping. Oh, it's a red, you turd. Yeah, it's a red. <coughs> Son, you better hope you ain't 20 inches. He's probably 18 by the looks of it. Just picked it up right off the bottom too. Been slowing it down. Winter time makes it so tough to fish. You gotta slow everything down a little bit. All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yep, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know that hurts. I guessed 18. What are you? He's 19. Yep, 19 inches with a pinched tail. Almost got it. Okay, son that hook out your mouth you're almost legal you better keep living that good life while you can <laughs> somebody else ain't gonna have I seriously thought that was gonna be our keeper trout right there and I was like that has got to be a big one just because of the way the reds pull man they can fool you big time we're still good on pro cure inside the shimmer swimmer yeah holding on to it really well that's what I love about that paddle tail you just load it up once and then you can just fish with it for a while. Just letting it drop is what we're doing. We're right at the edge of the channel. I stuck the rod down just a second ago and it was about four foot deep. I'm just letting it drop, swimming it and bouncing it along that bottom with the current. It's a very cold day. My gosh, it is super cold. I had to put the gloves on. Oh, that felt like a bite right there. Right as I moved it. Maybe there was an oyster. Who knows? That's my guess. Yeah, that's oyster down there. Okay, so that's good to know. We got a, a big old huge massive oyster patch. Oh, 
got him another one right down there against that oyster. Oh, look at that. It's a little flounder, man. Goodness. That right there is a nursery slam for us, everyone. <laughs> oh my gosh, we are we are just tearing up the nursery. Let it go, son. Let it go. Okay, well, we're going to capture a fast photo. Okay. So y'all know what that means. For those of y'all that have been following me for quite some time, you know what to do. Just drop that comment down below and tomorrow we'll do the drawing. Buddy, I need you to let that go, son. You're going to rip my plastic. Come on, let it go. There we go. Let that guy get a little bit bigger before he goes on someone's dinner plate. And we're still loaded with proke here. Um, drop the comment down below. Tomorrow we'll do the drawing. Good luck to each and every one of y'all. God damn. Little fella. They're hitting it on that fall. Well, we've got the numbers. We just don't got the size. Hold on, player. I need you to chill out just really quick. We're going to get that right out to your... Man, right up in the brain. See you later, buddy. I hope we didn't screw you up for life. Yeah, got the, uh, got the numbers. Just don't got the size. It was a pretty slow day out there on the water. I'm just glad that I was able to catch some fish. Big, small, I honestly don't care. I had fun out there with friends being able to catch up and then just be able to like reel in that nursery slam. Drop your comment down below. Do not use the words giveaway and that will enter you into the slam contest and uh, may the best person win. If you don't, don't worry about it. I will um, continuously catch these nursery slams until all these shirts down here when they're all out, then uh, the nursery slam will no longer go. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, for those of y'all interested in the gear that we use, that's all listed down below. Uh, check out my merch as well. There's uh, several shirts that I am selling. So if you wanna help support the channel, then purchase one of those. We will earn a commission. But if you truly wanna help me out, share this video with other friends who love fishing your family just share it and that will help the channel to grow and i definitely would appreciate it all right that's gonna do it until next time tight lines